Hi, I'm Lynn with Agriculture in the Classroom, and today we're going to do an activity called Apple Earth, which is a great activity to show your students one of our most important natural resources, which is soil. Super simple activity, all you need is an apple and a knife. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my apple and I'm going to cut it into four pieces. Now this plate over here, this is going to be my trash plate. And what I'm going to do is take one, two, three quarters of my apple and place it over here. If my apple was representing the earth and I just placed three quarters over here, then that should tell us that these three quarters represent the water. You can have your students come up and identify the oceans on the, on the globe or if you have a map behind you. So I'm left with one quarter. I'm going to take this quarter and I'm going to slice it in half creating two eighths. One of these eighths is going to go over here on the trash plate. This eighth represents everywhere where it's too hot or too cold to grow food. Where would it be too hot? Well, that would be the areas around the equator or in our large deserts. Where would it be too cold? That would be around our poles. So I'm left over here with one eighth, and this eighth represents the amount of land that's available to live or grow food on. This eighth, I'm now going to take and quarter it. Now that I've quartered that eighth, each slice represents one thirty-second of the apple. I'm going to take one, two, three thirty-seconds and place them over here on my trash plate. These represent everywhere where it's too rocky or steep like in the mountains, everywhere where it's too wet and marshy, and everywhere where there's already something built. You can't very well grow food if there's already a home or a shopping mall there. So that means all I'm left with is this. This is one thirty-second of the apple, and this represents all the available land to grow the food to feed the world's population. Because remember, this is Apple Earth, not Apple US. This, however, is still a bit too much. What I'm doing now is taking the peel off the apple. I'm going to place this piece over here on the trash plate. Just like an apple has a core, so does the earth, and the roots don't grow quite that deep. So that goes over here. So what I'm left with is the peel. The peel of the apple represents the crust, and that's where the topsoil is, and that's where the food is being grown. That peel of the apple represents all the available land to grow the food to feed the world's population. The world's population right now is about 6.7 billion people. Population is still constantly growing. It's projected by 2050 to be at about 9 billion people. If we know that the population is growing, but what's happening to this available land? That's shrinking. This can lead you into a really great discussion with your students about conservation of resources. You can discuss the things that farmers do to conserve this very precious natural resource, such as conservation tillage, contour farming, no-till, various practices to help conserve this natural resource. For this activity and many other fun ones to do in your classroom, I encourage you to visit our website agintheclass.org.